back to another Shaving with Surge. And I wanna thank you for joining me on another shave. And this shave, I'm gonna be using a Kennedy from Shrike Gold Shave Kennedy. I think I stumbled on it. And uh, first use, this is what it looks like. Got some scooped out. You can see it right over there. All right. Splash. Got the matching splash for it. Got to use it at least once. And uh, so far, I'm digging the scent, man. I'm digging it. I'll get more into it. Here is my brand new to me, Commissory from Kim, KM Razors, Kim Matthias, Matthias, something like that over in the UK. And check it out. Check out that file work, that tail. It's got nice grip on it. It's 8.8. Looks like it's a half hollow. And uh, excited to use it. Only downside is I noticed I did use it on my Kanayama and you can't tell, but it left the line. So I immediately jumped to a different shrub. I have one shrub that's like that, that I use specifically for razors that have done that. And you can see the wear that for some reason it's leaving. You can see the lines, you can see the wear, but you can't fill them. And uh, is that bad? Is that bad? People who knew more about shrubs, let me know. Um, I'm kind of always disappointed when I have, you know, a, a, a custom razor and it does that to your shops, you know, especially when you're paying that amount of money for things, even though I didn't buy this brand new, it's not like it's cheap, you know, um, you know, it shouldn't ruin our, even if it doesn't ruin, but it shouldn't deface our shrops, you know, that's my personal opinion. I think it should be test shrop and lap before it ever leaves the maker. And if it does that to a shrop, you need to figure out what's wrong with the geometry, what grind, is it? Is it the file work? What is it that causes it, you know? Um, that's something that it's becoming a pet peeve now. Um, I'm using my Dark Sanctum brush, red tip, all lathered up, got, you know, my Shrike Old Shave, just how it goes, all nice and creamy and whipped up in my Cayuan Workshop Bowl. All right, I do have a giveaway going. It's going on right now. Watch the last video if you want in on it. Only comment that video. I'm only gonna take the, do the people on that one. So go ahead and watch that one. And if you want in on that one. All right, so let's go. <clears throat> Kennedy. So, this scent was brought back due to popular demand, named one of the best scents he ever used by YouTube reviewer Nick Shaves. That guy hasn't made a video in a long time, right? He was one of the first people I was watching when I started watching shavers, you know, big, one of the ones that pops up immediately when you start looking into wet shaving, traditional shaving. Um, scent description is top notes, aldehydes, ozonic effect, metallic effect, violet leaf, neroli, cardamom, black pepper, fresh ginger heart, notes, beeswax, cyclamen, linden, blossom, lavender. Leather base notes are gergum, wood, patchouli, myrrh, cedarwood, tonka, bean, oak moss, white musk, honey effect, old wood effect, vanilla, am and amber. So there's a lot, a lot going on there, as you can tell, a lot of ingredients, man. And um, what I get from this, it is just, and beautifully scented soap, a beautifully cologne scented soap. I would describe this scent strength, you know, about a six and a half. And the scent, it's really, really nice. Like business, date night, anything. This is a nice, nice scent. Yeah, this is what something I would reach for. Business, special occasion if I was going out, you know, date night. Um, some type of event or something like that, and you just want to smell really good. Yeah, this is one of those ones. So Kennedy is definitely a winner. I could definitely picture Kennedy wearing the scent when he's banging Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> All right, and uh, boom, let's get right into the shave. All right, we wet the face. Here we go. Got it all whipped up already. Painting the goatee. Oh yeah, this is beautifully scented. I, another absolute winner from Shrikeold again in my book. All right, um, 
man, I always like to talk a little bit of personal things sometimes in my videos, you know? Not always just Shay, but uh, tomorrow is my three-year-old's first day of preschool. Can't believe it already. She's starting preschool tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm sad it's happening a lot faster than I thought it would. And um, excited I'm going to work at seven and then I'll go drop her off as well. She starts at nine, so I'll leave work for a little bit to drop her off to see her um, start her first day of preschool. So I'm excited. Um, I'm very lucky and thankful to have a job that allows me to go in the work, clock out, take my daughters to school, things like that. Like, you know, I gotta pick up my nine-year-old tomorrow and take her out of school. And I'm very fortunate to have a job that allows me to clock out and pick up my daughters and, and drop off at school. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, that's the, what was the one personal thing on my mind. Let's get into the shade, beautifully scented. I do like the grip on this. It is a nice grip. Um, this was freshly honed by the captain. Lather me whiskers. Can't see that. I sent it to him to get, um, to get honed. I did, wasn't sure I was in a shave. So he went ahead and did that for me. Originally, I know the first owner when he received it, the tip was muted and I don't like muted tips. You know, to me, it's what's the point of having it if it's muted. So far, it's shaving okay. From what I heard, there was kind of issues with previous users of this and getting the edge right on it. Um, it's not the, doesn't feel the best, but it, it's getting, it's shaving, it's getting the job done, you know? That's something to do with how hard the steel was, and I don't know, I'm not the owner, but just things I've heard. Um, the geometry on it. Which, a lot of me whiskers didn't mention any of that to me. This is just stuff I heard from other people who have used it or honed it. All right, so first pass is done. It's be it looks really cool though, yeah. Um, Let's get into the second pass. And when the original um, owner was uh, John Shaves, and when he at first showed it off when he bought it, I always, I actually really liked it. I was like, wow, that thing looks awesome. I love the, the design of it, the color choice on it. Um, and I thought it was really, really cool. And uh, he approached me, asked me if I wanted to buy it. And I said, yeah, let's go for it, you know? Here we go. I'm gonna play with this. Let's go side pass now.
playing with it. Um, still trying to figure out what my what I think of it. will get better the more I use it, the more laps that I get done. On the shrop, sometimes with edges, they do smooth out more, get smoother. The more you use it, uh, the more it gets lapped. See, that's not too comfortable. Um, so I'm kind of debating whether maybe I send this to Max Sprecher, you know, and um, See if you can flip it around and make me love it. As of right now, I'm kind of like, it's okay. It's okay. I wouldn't reach for this to shave with all the time. I look forward to it, to be honest, to use it. It'd be one of those ones I'd be like, all right, I gotta put some use on it, I have it. Let me let me do a shave with it, you know? I don't know, maybe I'm just spoiled and I have some of the best top of the line razors and they just kind of set the bar so high for me. Um, but we'll see. All right, uh, let me go for a third pass. I'm actually gonna add a little water to this. We're gonna go against the grain now. Here we go. Third and final pass with the new Kame. Kamehameha. Now it's feeling a little better. Is it feeling better? Cause I chopped down most of the hairs in the first and second pass, you know? Now it's kind of gliding really easily. All right. Okay, now it's feeling a lot better. Let's see. Put it to the test. Right here is my test. I have a hard time and it's 
you know, I have I have a few razors that have been honed by Lavamy Whiskers, and you know, I know what his edge feels like. It's it's a good edge. I never have a problem with it. Um, I did get caught a few times. All right, let me uh, rinse off and I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back and I'm back for that splash. Did my little touch up and clean up and shake it up. And here we go. Man. Oh, this is fucking fantastic. This is another absolute fire banger scent from Shrikeled. Don't sleep on this one. Don't sleep on Kennedy. Don't sleep on Ike. Don't sleep on Grant, man. Just, I, the list keeps going on and on. Shrikeled just keeps continuously producing incredible scents and bass. Oof. I think it is my favorite. I think it is my favorite. All right, I'm out of here, guys.